Hi, my name is Chi. I am 5'2. Having short legs and look for pants means either or Hello there, my beautiful darling. If pants are hard for you because you have short legs like me, today's video will change your life. Let's dive right in. The silhouette of the pants, very important. The most flattering leg shape for us, flare pants or bootcut pants. The two are very similar. A lot of the dress pants have bootcut shape. Like this one. This is from Liverpool, Los Angeles. The link is down below for everything I'm wearing today. It's fitted from the hips all the way through the thighs and under the knees it starts to widen. The best silhouette if you have short legs because this kind of cut can make our legs look longer and leaner. The flare is not exaggerated, it looks modest, but it's wide enough to accommodate a boot. That is how it got the name boot cut. Over these years, I struggle the most with is the length of the pants. I don't remember how many times I walked into a store and left empty handed. It's always because everything was too long for me. So after all these years of trial and error, I finally figured out what is ideal length for women with shorter legs like us. First of all, if you know your ankle length, that's very helpful. Mine is 25 inches if the pants is right above my ankle and I use this as a benchmark. What is the ideal length for your pants? It really depends on the leg shape. If you are wearing straight leg pants, these leg openings are not too narrow and they're not too wide. I normally go one to two inches longer than my ankle length. The key is to make sure when you are wearing shoes, they're not gonna bunch up. I've noticed sometimes they don't look like bunching up in the front, but when you wear heels, they can be bunching up on the back of your heels. Either way, whether they're bunching up in the front or in the back, they're not gonna look flattering. They're only gonna make our legs look even shorter. If you wear narrow leg pants, such as the secret pants, because the leg opening is smaller, I normally go with my ankle length. For me, that is 25 inches. And this length will make sure I can wear them with either heels or flats, and they will not look too long. For flare or book up pants, I like to go two to three inches longer than my ankle length and wear them with heels. That is gonna immediately double the leg elongating effect. For wide leg pants, you can go as long as you want. The longer you go, the more they can make your legs look extended. Because the leg openings are so wide, they can cover any heels you wear under them. These are 29 inch pants from Ann Taylor. They're my favorite. I always pair them with my highest heels and I feel like they make my legs look mile long, even though I'm only 5'2". Okay, here's the thing about pleated pants. They can work for you or they can work against you if you already have short legs. Pleated pants have extra fabrics and they're more roomy in the rise and the thigh area. If you happen to have a little tummy, like myself, they can make your tummy less obvious because all that extra fabrics and the space, that's gonna give the eye illusion that the little bulge in your tummy is not really your tummy. The eye is gonna sink. That's just from the pants. So that's a pretty smart design. And if you have thicker thighs, you probably will find them more comfortable because of the extra space in the hip and the thigh area. However, if you have short legs to begin with, you do have to be more selective with them because if there's too much extra fabrics and if there's too much volume in the rise and the thigh area, they can make your legs look even shorter. I have tried a lot of pleated pants. Some of them didn't work out because they did make my legs look shorter. Some of them did work out very nicely, like this one. This is from Express. The key is to make sure if they do have pleats, it's not too much volume in the rise and you want to make sure the pants is still slim fitted to balance out the volume. Paperback pants have been very much on trend. If you have short legs like me, they can be very flattering on you. 
These are two to three inches above the traditional high-rise pants. So this can go anywhere from 11 to 13 inches in the rise. That's as high as you can go. Because the rise is so high, that is gonna make the eye believe your torso is much shorter and therefore your legs look much more elongated. Most of the paperback pants come with a belt. The paperback design already has extra fabrics. When you add a belt, that can create more bulge in your tummy area. If you already have a tummy concern, you probably will notice the paperback pants can make it more obvious. When I wear paperback pants, I normally will take out the belt or I will go with a black color so that the belt is not very obvious. If you have short torso to begin with, they can make it look like your torso has disappeared. So you probably want to skip this one. Or if you are a petite woman with full bust because they're taking so much of space on your torso already, when you wear paperback pants, it can look like your waist is starting right under your chest. So you do want to be very careful about it. If you're petite or you have a short legs, pants with a slim fit normally are much easier to style and they're less likely to overwhelm someone with a shorter frame compared with pants with a lot of volume, such as the slouchy pants. If you have short legs, it's very tempting to think that shorter pants are going to work better for you because they're just easier to wear. So a lot of times we wear ankle pants thinking it might be easier for us, but that's actually the opposite. Whenever your pants are shorter, they can make your legs look cut off. That doesn't mean women with shorter legs should not wear ankle pants. A lot of times we love ankle pants, especially whether it's warmer. Ankle pants can look very flattering on us. We just need to be very selective about the style and be thoughtful about how you wear them. The key is to make sure you do everything else you can to make your legs look elongated. One easy way you can wear ankle pants is to pair them with nude heels. Because your heels look like it blends with the color of your skin, that can trick the eye into believing your feet look like an extension of your legs. And that can balance out the cuddle effect because of the shorter pants. There's a lot more tips and tricks I want to share with you. If you want to know how to make ankle length pants look flattering on you, make sure you watch this video as well. Besides wearing nude heels, another wonderful tip I have discovered that always works is to match the color of your pants with the color of your shoes. When the two match, or if they're very similar colors, that is going to form an unbroken vertical line for your bottom half. And that is going to trick the eye into believing your shoes is an extension of your legs. This has always worked wonders for me. This is especially very useful in the fall and the winter. Most of us love wearing booties or tall boots. The booties, they can make our legs look cut off because the length is higher up on our ankles. However, when you wear the same color pants or jeans with the same color booties, problem solved. Now, the booties no longer make your legs look cut off and your legs can look even longer. There is one type of pants that I have stayed away from for many, many years. That is the white leg pants. The reason is white leg pants have so much volume going on in the leg shape. If you're short, it's very intimidating. For that reason, I've never tried them until last year. I have noticed with the white leg pants, if you wear it the wrong way, they can totally be a disaster on someone who already have short legs like us because they expand you horizontally. However, I've also discovered if you do it the right way, they can be one of the most flattering pieces in your closet. Watch this video. If you have short legs, 
how do you wear white leg pants and make them look flattering on you?